Nashville. A Memphis family claims all they wanted was a new ice cream cone, but what they got was a beatdown. Action News 5's Janice Proach joins us now with the exclusive video. Janice? Well, this is video of that beat down at a Fraser Burger King, and now customers Diane Dunlap and her then 17-year-old daughter, Dinesha Claiborne, are suing for millions. I've been in a lot of fast food restaurants in my time, um, but never seen one um, that exhibited this kind of behavior by the employees. Um, it's a shocking. Attorney Robert Spence has filed this lawsuit against the owner and manager of this Frazier Burger King, as well as Burger King Corporation. It involves a fight in September last year inside the restaurant with two customers who wanted an ice cream cone and employees. Spence says a mother and her 17-year-old daughter came to the Burger King to study. They ordered an ice cream cone, but when the manager sneezed into her hands before making it, they asked for another one. Now look at this video. It shows the mother and daughter in the far right corner packing up their computers to leave. Then an employee rushes them and the fight begins. You can see the manager in white joining the fight with the 17-year-old. There's another fight in the lower left corner with the mother. A metal frame. Spence says at one point employees grabbed metal advertising frames using them as weapons. The fight eventually ends but the police were called and they took a report. Spence says the mother and daughter tried to work something out with Burger King corporate. When that didn't work, they hired Spence, who also tried to work something out with Burger King. I wanted to talk with the owner of this Fraser Burger King, Benny Marshall, a very polite manager, called his office. They said no comment. No comment. Okay. Well, okay, thank you. Okay. Very, thank you very much. Now, no one was ever charged in the fight. I tried to contact Burger King corporate headquarters in Miami several times, but never got an answer. Claiborne and Dunlap are asking for $3 million. Live in the studio, Janice Broach, Action News 5. In a developing story, Shelton.